I V M. I want to thank Intel for supporting our show. We're all loving working from home, but let's be honest, there are complications. For example, getting help from IT folks if your PC is down can be challenging because you can't just walk up to them anymore. Well, you'll be happy to hear that I have a solution for you, the Intel vPro platform. The platform comes packed with Intel Active Management technology that lets your IT teams remotely manage your systems and fix the problems without having to go to them. So it means more time getting your work done and less time spent on getting support. Visit intel.in slash more with vPro, that's vPRO, to discover how you can do more of what you want and less of what you don't. If you're listening on the IVM Podcast Android app, click the link that's visible to you now. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm really excited about recording this episode of the Positively Unlimited Podcast because, for one, I'm starting a whole new cycle of A to Z, and that's always, always exciting. Secondly, from now on, you're going to get Two doses of Positively Unlimited in a week, every Monday and Wednesday. Isn't that really cool? And reason number three is that this cycle of A to Z is going to be all about relationships. The next 26 episodes, starting from this one, are going to be all about the things that we do and the things that we shouldn't be doing in our love life, in our core relationships. So are you ready to make some changes? I would hope so, because it's you guys who inspired me to create this cycle of A to Z on relationships. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to go to my Instagram handle, Positivity Angel, and watch my video series called Date Night. It's 10 videos on my IGTV, where I talk about all things love and dating in today's times of dating apps and insta-love. But enough with the background. Let's dive into today's episode, which is A for acceptance. So here's a very important question that I'd like each one of us to answer today. What do you need to accept about yourself when it comes to your love life and your relationship? Whether you are single, dating someone seriously, simply having some fun, or been married for a while, or maybe even about to get married. What do you need to accept about yourself in terms of your relationship, in terms of who you are in your relationship? Another question that I want you to think about today, what do you need to accept about your partner? Before I go deeper into why acceptance is important, let me give you a little perspective. A little perspective on what happens when we first meet that person and feel that connect and have that sense of, hmm, this is interesting. Maybe this can go somewhere. The moment you feel that connect, your mind throws down the laundry list and gently starts checking things off it. Now, in the process of checking things off, striking things off, and making you realize how this person that you are connecting with fits the bill so, so well, it also starts to create an image of this person and a narrative of the life and the experiences that you can have in the near future with this person. To everyone who is tuned in right now and listening to this, tell me you know what I'm talking about. (laughs) Tell me you know these narratives. Maybe you narrated these situations and experiences to yourself just a few days ago. Maybe you did it a few months ago. Or maybe I just took you back a few years when you sat across the table with your current partner having coffee or having a drink and you were running these kind of narratives in your head. Some of us do this on the first date and some of us, well, over the weeks to come. And that's where the drama begins to take shape. What do I mean? Well, in time, in the weeks and months to come, we end up falling for a version of this person that our mind has created. Not necessarily who this person actually is. What is being shown and what is being interpreted and understood? Well, sometimes there can be a huge distance between those two. And that is why 
acceptance becomes so, so important. It is imperative for each and every one of us sitting there feeling that connect to look at what is and accept it for what it is, not what it can be or not what it should be or not what it may become. But these are narratives that you will tell yourself right in the beginning. For some of us, things will fizzle out and these narratives will, well, fall apart and we'll realize our folly. But then there's some of us who dive into the relationship and we start dating this person who, well, in some parts is a fiction. We start dating this person who, in many ways, is just a figment of our imagination. Who they really are versus who we think they are. It's like dating two completely different people. And this is why acceptance is very, very important. Accepting your partner for who he or she is, is extremely important, especially if you have been in this relationship for a while. Step back and take a good look at them. Accept them for who they are first. Because only then can you be clear about exactly what they are capable and willing to bring to the relationship. Now, what do I mean by this? Each one of us has a base nature. We're capable of being a certain way and doing certain things. Secondly, each one of us has a certain level of willingness in a relationship or in any other area of our life as well. When you accept this person for who he or she is, for who he or she is showing you that they are, you will be able to see very clearly what they are capable of and what they are willing to do. Now, when you understand these two pieces, you can realign your expectations. Again, why is this important? Because if you are dating a version of this person that your mind has created for you, then you have a whole set of expectations that are stemming purely from your desire and from what you think of this person and the stories that you have created of the life that you all will live together because of who you think they are. <laughs> I know that what I'm saying right now may be a little confusing, but hypothetically, think about this. You start dating this person and you have this impression of them. Now, because of your impression of them, you are seeing a certain life together. It's a coming together of your desires and who you think this person is. So a box of possibilities has been opened. Now, this box of possibilities is allowing you to place certain expectations on this person and on this relationship. However, what happens if this person is actually incapable of living up to those expectations? Not that they don't want to, but maybe they don't know how to. Maybe they don't think like that. Maybe they are built differently and are incapable of reacting and responding in that manner to match your expectations. Now, you will never see this because you are busy living with the person that your mind created. You aren't seeing this person for who he or she really is. And once again, I come back to the word acceptance. This is why it is important for you to recognize and accept what is for what it is. Now coming to the part about willingness. Well, sometimes a person is perfectly capable of living up to a certain desire or expectation that their partner has. However, they may not be willing to. And that willingness may be sometimes simply about preferences, not liking it or not agreeing to it. Or sometimes it could have deeper root causes or deeper reasons. So I ask you the question that I asked you right in the beginning of this episode once again. 
What do you need to accept about yourself when it comes to your relationship? And what do you need to accept about your partner when it comes to your relationship? You know, at the end of the day, we all just want to be loved for who we are. Isn't this true? I mean, you want it. Isn't that what you have always desired in every relationship of yours? To be loved for who you are. Well, are you extending that same courtesy to your partner? Are you loving them for who they are without any questions asked, without any burdens of expectations being placed on them, without any conditions being applied? Love is a verb. And that's not just a line from some internet meme. Love to be experienced has to be shown and expressed. And that makes love a verb. Well, acceptance is is the action. So, if you want to experience love, understand and express acceptance. When you start accepting your partner for who he or she is, you take all their flaws and all the beauty that they hold and say, okay, this is who they are and that is fine with me. It will open up a whole new door of possibilities for you. It will allow you to change the stories you have been narrating to yourself. It will allow you to look at your partner and your relationship from a whole new angle and finally begin to heal certain things. It will change the way you react to them and it will allow you to respond to them with the energy of acceptance. And if you find this hard to do, then just keep reminding yourself that at the end of the day, each one of us only wants to be loved for who we are. This one truth, remind yourself and act in accordance to it. Well, I hope I haven't rattled your beliefs too much today. <laughs> this is just the beginning. This is only the letter A. On that note, I'm going to sign off. But with a reminder that starting this week, you get two episodes every week. So remember to tune in on Wednesday, which is day after tomorrow, when I'm going to be talking about B for boundaries. And if you want to listen to some of my previous episodes on relationships, listen to episode number 30, which was commitment versus convenience, and episode number 33, which was about for now versus forever. <laughs> Also, another reminder to head to my Instagram, my handle is Positivity Angel, and watch the date night series. All previous episodes of this podcast are available on the IBM website and the IBM podcast app. Download it today and catch another episode again day after tomorrow, that is Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed that show like to thank our sponsors this week and tell for supporting us first right off the bat want to congratulate ashton doctor on celebrating the 300th episode of the habit coach it's a great show if you haven't been listening to it listen to it now and if you listen to it you can almost go for an entire year with an episode a day it's really fun do definitely check that out arjun koladi the head of sales for spotify in india was on advertising his debt do check that out really fun show on Cyrus Says, we had Samit Basu, the author, fantasy author, one of my favorites. Definitely do check that out. It was with Sub Memoria Week this week on the IVM Network. He was on Cyrus Says Cock and Bull on Thursday. He was on Lit Nama and, of course, his own podcast, Postcards from Nowhere. Do check that out. And one last note before we go. IVM Likes is back and we've been doing a bunch of interesting conversations about different pop culture things that you might want to check out during the pandemic. Do give it a listen. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Have you ever wondered how successful people do their thing? How do they navigate the challenges they often face? Are you wondering about the future of restaurants, film, education, technology, and everything else in between? Hi, I'm Gauri Devidyal, best known for being one of the brains behind the table, an award-winning restaurant in Bombay. One thing my life as a restauranter has given me is the opportunity to meet with some truly inspiring people most often just by chatting with strangers at the community table. 
and that's what this podcast is about. It's about learning the new dimensions of business and understanding how different people swim this sea. It's an opportunity for me to pick their brains and ask them all the questions on my mind. whether it's about learning from their past experiences or talking about future trends through their journeys stories and insights i hope you too like me will come away inspired and energized so come join me every wednesday with your favorite drink because this round is on me